What's up my Android brothers and sisters? This is Chris Chavez here again with Fandroid.com. Today I wanted to show you guys uh, my absolute newest favorite ROM. It's called Paranoid Android and it uh, comes to you from Moles Are Among Us. It's this developer. He has a really cool name and uh, it's the ROM just absolutely floored me when I tried it. I've known about it for quite some time but I kind of tried to put it off because it has this unique feature that's different from all the other ROMs. Uh, I guess you could say it's primarily based off of CyanEngineMod 10 which is uh, just a Jelly Bean AOSP ROM and then they CyanEngineMod added their little commits and little customizations and Paranoid Android kind of just took that as his, I guess you could say his base and just ran with it and added his own little tweaks which is uh, his claim to fame basically is the ability to change up the UI on your phone uh, to either a phone OS, a phablet OS, which is basically like a big, uh, maybe even like a, like the Galaxy Note or the Galaxy, or not Galaxy, the Nexus 7. Uh, that features like a phone OS, but there's some stuff that's a little bit different. The, um, Oh, or a tablet UI, so you can change it to a tablet UI. So if you've noticed, Android has different UI schemes, and apparently uh, this guy found out a way to just uh, allow you to choose which one you want to use on the fly. The cool part about it is because normally you can just go into a ROM. Most ROMs have a DPI setting, and you can change it, and it'll kind of... You can make your phone basically into just a little tiny tablet, but everything will be really small and be hard to press little buttons and stuff, so it's it's kind of frustrating how it works, but he's managed to basically perfect it and introduce, I guess you can call it, it's like a hybrid type uh, DPI setting or something, but you can adjust either a system-wide DPI setting where it'll like zoom in or zoom out. So uh, let me just explain real fast because one of my biggest gripes with Android is the fact that I have this huge 720p screen, so theoretically I should be able to see more on my screen than you would on something that's just maybe not 720p, like the older phones that are 800 by whatever, this and that. But you still have four icons by four icons, which doesn't make sense, right? So I wanted a way to change it up to where it would be like the Galaxy Note, where maybe I'd have five icons by like six or seven down here at the bottom. And uh, this, this ROM lets you do it. So uh, without further ado, let's just jump into it because I've been rambling long enough. Uh, I just flashed the ROM right now onto my Galaxy Nexus. So this is totally fresh build. And uh, I'm just going to show you guys the tweaks that I do to it. First off, there is, uh, let's just go to the, uh, let me access my notes really quick. The the wallpapers. Let's just talk about that really quick because this guy managed to, I guess he has a friend or someone that designs really cool illustrations and it really just hits me at like my core. I don't know how else to explain it, but the whole design, the, the way he uses these vector graphics, there's a ton of little wallpapers called Paranoid Android wallpapers and I love the design. I love what he's going for. This guy quite possibly might be my soulmate. I'm not sure, but every single one of these wallpapers I love. I wish there was a way just to kind of adjust or just cycle through them every single like five minutes or so, but you can see there's just a ton of different ones. Dark ones, bright ones, some that have no teeth, and it's cool. It's just really, really awesome. This little troll looking character dude here. I'm going to choose the little, well, let's go with this dark wallpaper so it might be a little bit easier for you guys to see some of the stuff. Uh, Awesome. Just totally awesome. I can't even tell you the design, the character, the way this illustrator just did stuff. Thank you, Paranoid Android. Uh, we're going to jump into the custom toggles. So pretty much any phone you have is going to, or any custom ROM you have, is going to have these custom toggles up here. So a lot of people see screenshots that I post and they're like, whoa, how'd you do that? I have a stock Galaxy Nexus and mine doesn't have the toggles. But if you have Sanjima 10, AOKP, or just about any custom ROM, they pretty much added these little custom toggles here at the top, and they can be customized. Uh, let me turn my GPS back on. If you jump into your settings, they have the... Um, should be under UI or Display Advanced System... Status Bar, which is this guy up here. And you can show the clock, you can show AM, PM style. Uh, I like to show the PM there. Well, actually, you know what? I don't even need that. None. So you can tweak the status bar in a bunch of different ways. Battery sta status, percentage, or hidden. I'm going to go with percentage because I like to see how much I have left. But you can also get a battery bar, which will just take away that battery icon and just have a bar going across the thing there. 
brightness control I like because you can, oh geez. Sorry, I don't want you to see the phone number. Uh, you can adjust it like so, just like you would on like the old Samsung stuff or the TouchWiz Samsung stuff. I'm gonna turn the brightness down really low. And show notification count will show you how many notifications you have according to whatever you have up there. So you have wallpaper, font size, power menu. Power menu is the power button when you do this. And all these little options you have here, you can customize those as well. I like to do a screenshot, expand a desktop, I don't really care, and profile switcher, I don't really care about, so I'll turn those off. And navigation bar is this little guy down here at the bottom. You can show them or not show them, I'll just keep them enabled, but the thing I kind of don't like is the fact that you can't customize these on a bunch of other ROMs like AOKP um, or Codename Android, which is kind of based off of... AOKP and Cyanogemod. Uh, anyways, those you can customize those, which is awesome because I like having a menu button there, but let's just keep moving along. Uh, no navigation options bothers me. We'll just jump straight into the paranoid Android settings because that is the bread and butter about what we're all about here. And I'm getting a text message. One second. Okay, so workspace will allow you to select whether or not you want the hybrid mode, stock UI, phablet, tablet UI, small, medium, large. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the tablet mode because that's kind of, I guess, the most different. Uh, phablet is just kind of like the launcher is small and the notification uh, shade here will be a lot smaller like it is on the Nexus 7. So everything that displays there, it can show more of them because it's smaller, the notifications are tinier, you can display more of them. It's pretty cool, but Again, you have to do a lot of tweaking and messing around with some of this stuff, but I'm going to jump straight into the tablet big. And once you apply, you have to reboot, so that's going to take a second or two. Hopefully it won't take too long because I will not be doing any editing. This video has already hit seven minutes. Cheese and rice. Uh, when we come back, after I show you guys that, it's just going to show it into uh, tablet mode. So instead of having a notification here uh, shared at the top that you pull down, it's going to have it down here at the bottom just like you would on any tablet. And you can, you know, you'll have the three buttons here for the back, home, and app switcher, or recent apps. Oh, the boot animation is really cool in this. I want you guys to see that. What? Wink, wink. Okay, so again, they have like the coolest logo and the coolest graphics and all that stuff. Uh, but anyways, but the, the bottom here will have a little setting things there. Uh, you're going to see it right now. Here we go. So. Bloop. so you can see here, it's just like a tablet. So no more notification shade here at the top. And clicking... Oops. Nope, oh, let's get out of there. Your notifications will appear here at the bottom. Oh, jeez, no, stop that. Okay. Um, clicking a little button here will open up just like it would on a tablet and you can um, swipe away your notifications it'll just keep going up and up and up and clicking that button will show you all some quick toggles and all that fun stuff just like it would on a tablet which is actually really really cool and functional so I can see how some people would dig this I might even leave it like that for a little while but eh, I don't know it's kinda weird I'm so used to just pulling and instinctively doing stuff so uh, I'm not gonna do that but let's just jump into the settings and I'm gonna show you guys some of the other paranoid Android stuff and this is the real fun stuff. So it's not just that, there is the ability to choose your user interface. So you can see I'm on tablet mode in my workspace, that's my, my home screen, but you can change whether or not system apps or user apps will display in a phone mode, all of them, universally, all your system apps, which is everything that's already installed in the ROM, so like the messaging, I guess like the browser, all the stuff that already comes on it, talk, Google talk, things like that. Whether or not it'll show phone mode, tablet mode or tablet mode and remember with tablet mode some apps will actually show more or they'll display differently so on Gmail you'll have uh, two panes instead of one pane so you can see like all your labels and you can see all your emails on one side which is kinda neat but I don't really like it this is just for my friends I found some settings I like to tweak and I just keep everything at 280 I guess I'm not gonna do it now but uh, I keep my system apps and user apps, and user apps are everything that you install on your device after you flash the ROM, everything that comes from the, the Google Market or Android Mark, Android Play Store, whatever you want to call it. Status bar size is this thing down here at the bottom. You can make it thick or small. Uh, these are kind of tiny as it is. I feel like they're a little too small, so I would probably make it a little bit thicker. Uh, the higher you go, the thicker. The, the less you go, the smaller. Lock screen size is how big the lock screen uh, little lock thing is going to be. 
you can make it small, like uber tiny. You can make it super big, which is just like phone mode. Or I like, again, I would like to keep my launcher and my lock screen huge because I like big, bright, full, big icons. I like a big old lock screen. But I like my apps to, system apps and user apps, to show, I guess, have a zoomed out mode where they'll have more of them displayed, if that makes any sense. That's usually what I like to do to tweak it. And since a system app is also the launcher, I, um, well, let's just go ahead and show you that, the apps. Clicking on the apps will show you can individualize and choose specific settings for individual apps, which is kind of neat. So what I like to do is, since I already adjusted to 280 on the other thing, uh, what I like to do is go to Trebuchet Launcher. And normally, once you adjust to 280, it's going to say 280 here. Uh, so I like to keep it all the way cranked up to 320 because I like big, bright, beautiful icons. And um, I don't mess with any of this stuff here. But going to 300, 600, 720 will make everything super small. The status bar and all that stuff. And sometimes the notification tray doesn't really drop down all the way. So I don't really mess with the launcher too much because it's kind of hit or miss. It's really, really difficult to figure out. And it's just, a, you'll, you're going to have a bad time. If you mess with these buttons, you're going to have a bad time. So current, I keep it like that. But with other apps like, say, Gmail. Let's see if I can find that right here. The DPI is set at that uh, 270, which means instead of just having one, two, three, four, like just huge old thick, big old lines, and you can only display four emails, which is retarded because you have a 720p screen, you should be able to show more of it. And I have special eyes, so I can see things that are really small. Maybe, you know, this probably isn't the best you know setting for everybody, but I have really good eyes, so I like things really small. I can read this from about like 40 yards away, even though it's really small print. But again, this is the zoom button, so kind of think of it as zoom. So if you go all the way down here, it's going to be so zoomed out, everything's going to be so super tiny, so I'll go ahead and show you that just to mess around with it. And then this is whether or not you're going to show uh, 360 is like phone mode, 600 is about phablet mode, and 720 will be tablet mode. So I'm going to go ahead and jump to, oh look my friends, it's kind of cool, I like the way it just showed up down there, but I'm going to go into... Tablet mode for Gmail. You can launch it or apply it. I'm going to go ahead and let's just launch it and we'll see how it looks. And that didn't do it right. Let's go back to the settings. Okay, so 60, 720, apply. It's going to tell you, are you sure you want to force close it? Yes, we'll force close it because it doesn't need to be open like that. And then we're going to jump into Gmail and show you guys how it looks. So you can see everything is... This is almost too tiny for me because, I don't know, you have to hold it. I mean... Really? You're going to get that close? I doubt it. But everything's really tiny. I kind of like the way it looks, but this is like similar to what you would see on a tablet. A little too small for this screen. Maybe if you had like a 5-inch um, device or maybe like a like an actual 7-inch tablet or something. But maybe you have really good eyes and this will be really cool for you. But you can see how you can change the UI. So tablet, phone, phablet mode, all that stuff can be tweaked according to the specific app if you like. Really awesome. And Paranoid Android is the only one that does this. So they've been working really hard on this. And they've just managed to create this awesome new setting. Really, really cool. I'm going to show you guys because this video is getting super long. Uh, you can back up and restore your stuff. So because I actually, this was an updated ROM that I just flashed today. And I didn't wipe or clear my Dalvik cache or any of that stuff. So I just flashed it thinking it would be okay because I was already running it. But it actually messed things up. So I should have backed up my preferences. You click backup preferences, you can back up your preferences. So the next time you flash a ROM clean, uh, you'll have all those settings and all those tweaks that you've done to it. Because there are a lot of tweaks and it can be a huge hassle having to go back and redo everything. So uh, I'm not going to back it up just yet. Back it up, back it up. Because uh, I haven't tweaked anything the way I liked it yet. So i got to do that in a little while. Uh, let's jump to some of the more setting, other settings that they have here. Uh, you have themes, which is kind of cool. So there are some stuff in the, the market for themes, and you can use the Theme Chooser app. There's one that actually makes it look like MIUI, which I thought was really cool. Uh, lock screen, you can tweak it. Change the background. You can change like the little icons that show when you um, do this little doodad. So you can have like messaging and da 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 da, and something down here and something over there. And uh, I don't really mess with that right now. I'll do that later. Tons of stuff. Again, this is, is a custom ROM. It's based off of CM10, which already gives you tons of customizing. This probably isn't going to be for everyone because some people just don't want to customize anything. And there are stock ROMs out there that are just pretty much almost just stock jelly bean, but with a few little added tweaks and enhancements to make it go super fast. But I'm going to show you guys the 
uh, what was it? System advanced. Now, under advanced, you can change the color, the tint of your phone. So you probably don't notice it. it's not going to show up on camera, but the tint of it is kind of yellowish and just not really, I don't know, it's really dingy, yellowish, and dark. I like to brighten things up. I like to have a lot of punchy colors, and I like the contrast to be super high. So what I usually do when I like mess with my color multipliers is these are my settings I typically like to keep. So under color multipliers, I like to keep red under 75, green under 75, blue, maxed out over here but you can see it kind of changes the colors around like that. This, to me, is the best setting because it just looks, the whites are super white, everything's super clear. Gamma, I like to keep at, I believe it's zero? Negative? I thought I like to keep this at zero. We'll keep it at one, whatever, it's fine. Uh, zero. These might be higher, I'd have to look and check, but I'll probably post these in the post. And then I keep the DS Gamma at five, which brightens everything up. Again, it's not going to show up on camera because I don't have my full brightness settings, but I always keep my phone on full brightness. But it doesn't look right on camera, so I'm not going to do that right now. And then they have hacked presets, which I don't like. This looks silly. Uh, general, this is new to this version of Paranoid Android. It's the clock speed for the GPU. I'm just going to max it out because I like everything to stay super smooth and clean. Uh, you might not want to do that if your phone's getting hot. If you play a lot of video games, it could increase the frame rate, but it could also melt your phone. So might not want to do that. Uh, there's also performance which will let you, where's the performance? Which will let you themes, lock screen, sound, battery, apps, advanced, profiles. Huh. Anyways, there's, oh, performance down here. Now they moved it. Proceed with caution. This will let you change your CPU settings. So maximum is set at 1200 megahertz or 1.2 gigahertz and the minimum is there. I don't mess with it because this thing is fast. You can if you wanted to. Try to overclock it and bring it all the way up to 1350. You know what? Whatever. I'm going balls to the walls. I'm going to clock it up to that. And uh, there's a bunch of other stuff that I don't really know too much about because I'm a noob. And I think that's all there is to cover. There's some profiles too if you want to do profiles, but it's kind of silly for your phone uh, performance. And I think that's pretty much it for Paranoid Android, folks. This is, again, the most customizable, crazy, super duper radical ROM uh, that there is. The Play Store looks cool. Everything works with it, which is cool because you can adjust the DPI settings again for every phone. Uh, so you can see right now, like the Play Store, it's just showing this, 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 and this. But if I messed with the settings again, you could make it so it's zoomed out. So it'll display more content. So you'll have to do less scrolling. Uh, I guess you can I, I compare it to the iPhone 5, how you're able to see more content. But again, this is just a million times better because that's lame and this is totally customizable. Something you can't do on the iPhone 5. <sighs> Alright, so I'm Chris Chavez. Thank you guys for watching my video on Paranoid Android, my favorite ROM by Moles Are Among Us or Moles to Come to Us. Moles. Moles. Moles Are Coming. <laughs> Moles Are Coming is the developer. I'll link to the XDA post and uh, even do some screenshots and everything of the settings that I like to use and all the fun stuff you can do. So for now, I guess that's it. I'm Chris Chavez with Fandroid.com. If you have any questions or need anything else, ooh, one of the apps is actually really cool is YouTube, but I guess I might show you that. <sighs> Don't even have it installed. Uh, YouTube has a really cool tablet mode or a phone mode. Phone mode is kind of meh. Tablet mode is really cool because you can see all kinds of crazy stuff, but you'll be able to see that on the Paranoid Android thread. For now, I'm Chris Chavez. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!